marketeers, salespersons. Please, okay, raise your hands, raise your hands. Uh, who somehow deal with clients? Okay, everyone, everyone. So we don't have technical specialists, but if they were here, we would make a marketeer, marketeers from them. So our presentation is B2B marketing trends and if they could be applied to the telematics market. I would say yes, all of them can be applied to the telematics market. But if you are not a marketeer, you have to listen very attentively because there is one step from a technical guy to a marketeer. Here we start. And after this presentation, you are a marketeer. Okay? And that's what we will discuss. Uh, content marketing above all. Video and audio content marketing take the lead. Personalization at every point of contact. And the critical role of opinion leaders. And we will start with the first trend. Content marketing, the Queen Elizabeth of all marketing tools. You may be wondering why I call it like this. Because um, content marketing is just like the queen. You may think that she is very old, sometimes funny, and sometimes useless, but still she has more power than all we combined. So let us think about how to follow this train of content marketing. To invest more into content marketing, some people think that content marketing is always what you pay for. Please raise your hands who pays for content marketing. So nobody, nobody invests, you pay for content marketing, no? Okay, nobody pays for content marketing. Okay, this man said, Alexander Ivanov from Lockme, former journalist, uh, he said that um, you always pay for content marketing because you, even if you don't invest money and do everything by yourself, you invest your time. And you invest your time heavily because an expert article, for example, may, uh, like cost you three to seven days of hard work. Plus, uh, another man from the Russian Federation also told us that good authors do not exist. Please raise your hands. Who is like who does blog? Who uh, films webinars? Who does anything uh, connected with uh, content marketing? Okay, what do you do? All of the things. Uh-huh. Long read. So multifaceted content marketing. Okay. Does somebody else goes in for go in for content marketing? Like maybe update updating a website, making videos. Nobody? Nobody is in for content marketing. So you are the right people to to be here because you should invest more. You should invest more because content marketing is not about sales. It's about engagement, it's about community building, and it's about uh, guiding your clients through the whole sales funnel. And uh, it is inconspicuous, non-point blank, thus very effective. And um, okay, so why you should invest more? Why you should invest more? Because um, if you do it yourself, it's very time consuming. And uh, maybe you have somebody of you uh, uses the help of third-party authors to generate content. Or do you, uh, you do it with the help of your own team. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, many, many of our partners say that they are not in for content marketing because they can't find a good, author, good authors. And uh, you are not alone because the world is driven by another trend. Uh, the trend is like every specialist of your company must contribute to content creation. Your installers, they can take photos from uh, on-site, like how they, they install sensors and additional equipment. They can uh, uh, film videos of how they uh, install something, of how they plumber it. So um, your sales team can share the experience of how they created the best sales and client retention system in the region, in the country, or else. Your developer's team can share the experience of what solutions and subject to what tasks they were developing and what they are ready for having such an experience. So um, 
The only thing left to do is to elaborate the incentive scheme. How do you think you can motivate your employees to invest into content marketing, to generate content? What do you think? What can you offer? Like you can, you can um, speak any opinion. What can you offer to your specialists, to your employees, for them to start generating articles, make photos or anything? Money, okay, how much? A month, how much per specialist a month? How much? Uh huh. Okay. 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 That is that is interesting. Uh, who who else? Who else will say the number? Hundred bucks. Okay. What do you think? Huh? We we give just awards. Uh, ah. Every three six months, whoever did uh, the post with most likes, ah. whoever did the most interesting video, and such kind of stuff. It's not just for action, but for uh, quality action. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how much do you pay for this? Uh, the best for the best photo there. Uh, it's about hundred bucks. Uh, ah. It's very close to this. It shouldn't be, let's say, too commercial, okay. because it should be a little bit of incentive. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So uh, let, us, um, let us turn to the case uh, story of our partner IMG from Uzbekistan. Uh, what they do, they were, for, for five years, they were putting stickers on the connected cars. Now they have 8,000 connected cars moving across Uzbekistan, uh, and one third of their clients find the, uh, them by uh, IMG stickers on the cars, on the connected cars. And all these stickers and all these vehicles uh, and the connection of all these vehicles with the stickers um, is in the Instagram uh, of this IMG Uzbekistan because, because he make, made the employees compete with each other uh, in photos. And the best, the, the man who uh, provided the most of the high quality photos for a month, uh, he paid him five bucks. Five bucks a month is sometimes enough to make the whole team work. The other, the, the other mem members of the installer's team didn't get anything, and the winner got five bucks. And they still have very live Instagram. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that uh, every specialist of your company must contribute to content creation. Then, transform content from the engagement to sales tool. Content marketing is about engagement, yes, but you can now transform it to the sales tool, like to make your potential clients and actual ones. So, uh, please raise your hands who get most of their clients uh, with word of the mouth. Okay, many of you. And word of the mouth is uh, something that people tell about you to their clients, to other companies, and why don't you, like, why don't you make it work on your website? Generate testimonials and comparisons. Speak the mouth, the mouth, the word of the mouth, and start it on your resources. Plus, feedback tools and call to action buttons and banners uh, in the right place can be the critical, can be the critical part, can be critical for decision making. So uh, what we do, we are now implementing these uh, banners in uh, anywhere in the article. For example, if you read the article about the uh, construction industry and it said, okay, we put an FLS in one truck, in one tractor, and the whole fleet, uh, like the whole fleet, there, 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 was no, there was no fuel thefts in the whole fleet. Okay, and here's where uh, call to action should be. Like install one FLS to make the whole fleet, like to abandon this fuel theft for the whole fleet. Plus, um, I'll speak about, next I'll speak about what we do on our Gurton block to uh, convert. Location solutions and concrete base. We published two, case, uh, two uh, descriptions of the applications on our blog. And uh, this time, this was the moment where, when uh, this company started to sell their applications in the international market. 
For example, Location Solutions uh, started selling uh, their hardware management tool in the CIS, and Concrebase from Brazil started selling their uh, mixer trucks uh, application uh, in the UAE. Location Solutions now has an exclusive uh, rights for this application in the region. Plus, GeoService from the CIS, uh, they provided a weight management solution uh, for uh, trucks, and uh, they got the new lead uh, within an hour after the publication in our blog. And after Evgeny Maximov, who is the CEO in the company, uh, wrote to me that, oh my God, it's only an hour and we, on uh, and we already have a client. I made, made a screenshot. I uh, printed it. And it was three months, for three months it was on my wall. Because this is where I see that uh, conversions through content marketing really works. Generate educational content, because uh, you see this big data analyzed by BI systems for decision making. People also uh, uh, consume large uh, amounts of information, and they have something to choose from, and they uh, choose in favor of deeper knowledge and deeper understanding of everything. Nobody wants to, like, uh, nobody wants to feel like he doesn't know anything. Even if you go for, uh, to buy a TV, you already have something in your mind, like, okay, show me this with the Simulat matrix and I'll... Uh, you are the master, not the consultant. So uh, that, that predetermines the growing interest uh, in the longer formats, in the longer formats, because people don't, are no more satisfied with superficial knowledge. And that's where you uh, can make a mistake. Make sure, make sure that the author is both an expert in the area. Because copyrights no more wor work in the longer formats. By the way, which long formats do you use? Long videos, long, uh, long reads, and... Your formats, which formats, uh, long formats do you use? Like videos, articles, and uh, everything. You tell that like, you use long reads in your business. Yes. А, ah, the only, the, the only... Ah, ну, то есть какие форматы? Uh, excuse me? Да, yeah, как... Okay, как... it's three formats of them. Videos, mm -hmm. long reads, uh, uh, interviews. Uh, okay, and who generates content? Кто генерирует контент okay, этот? Our, our specialists. Mm -hmm. And we what's... We then, we then pay for third authors. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is a good example. Uh, you can find the, our colleague and to find out the incentive scheme he uses to make all his team generate high quality content. Then how to follow it. Use the same content multiple times. You can write a long read and extend it with new data, with new business specific data. You can replace images for the higher quality ones and you can add videos, you can add infographics and everything and republish it multiple times. Thus uh, attracting more and more viewers to uh, one single article or video or anything long. And uh, it is good because uh, for longer formats because you can divide it into pieces like you can uh, uh, send videos to one group, tar targeted group, and then you can um, um, send the economical results to the sales team, then you can add technical details to the technical team, and else and else and else, like it may work once, twice, thrice, and e any, uh, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. We, for example, publish, uh, here we have a fleet run, uh, and uh, First time we describe a solution, and then we have a video or a presentation on everything, and we just uh, add updated video inside, and it starts working again and again and again to attract users to our blog. What you can do is to describe a case story on your blog, on your section on your website, and um, just to mark that you've implemented the project. Then, six months later, um, let the client give you feedback on economical benefits of real on implementation. And that is, that is where you republish it with all the results, figures, and their testimonials. Believe me, it will work. And uh, last two trends, like adjust content to mobile devices, uh, because everybody reads from mobile devices, and tell stories. Tell sto storytelling is 
what uh, raises trust. And it is quite good results for your content marketing. My colleague Ivan will speak about it uh, in more details very soon. The second trend, the future of lead generation is in audio and video content. Please raise your hand, somebody, uh, if you use uh, video in your uh, business. Okay, which kind of videos? Educational, okay, then, Ali. BR, basically when we sponsor some uh -huh. of uh, the events, then we use the video to show. Okay, do you create it with your own or outsource on your own or outsource the, uh, the, the service? It's our own from, for our own team. Mm -hmm. Okay, educational, then sponsoring events. Uh, anything else? Okay, still many people use the uh, video in their... Uh, okay, I thought Mr. Samir wants to, wanted to tell anything. Okay, so... Um, I recommend you to follow the trend because it's really booming. Like, let's see some interesting figures. Uh, YouTube, five billion. Facebook, five billion. Snapchat, 10 billion. What's this, do you think? Yeah, the views, but uh, for uh, what period? For a month. Uh, maybe some smarter men? Yeah. For a day, yeah. This this is what uh, people see, uh, how many videos people view for a day on the earth. So, as you see, the audience of social networks is uh, rising every day. And it's uh, simpler to engage them, and it's simpler to deliver with the help of uh, this, uh, uh, of, with the help of videos. So, what we recommend is to create micro-content for uh, social networks. Uh, I speak about video streaming and small videos uh, that you can, um, like that, w that you can generate uh, without spending a dime. Like it is fast, cheap, and it provides you with maximum reach, with this kind of reach, my friends. Up, oh. yes, and uh, plus, if you publish videos in the social networks, you, you may be sure that social networks algorithm will. Uh, up like, uh, <laughs> okay. They will. I'll, I'll tell simply. They will show videos more frequently than any other content and any other post on Facebook and other social networks. Uh, plus, video is the attention anchor and uh, uh, the engagement driver of uh, for for your audience. Third, um, social networks provide all the tools for you to generate content fast and simply, uh, like. Facebook promotes their live video streaming. They promote ads that can be viewed uh, via mobile device with subtitles. And uh, they offer you to uh, post a um, slideshow instead of a photo that adds motion to your posts. So that is why I uh, recommend you, highly recommend you to turn your attention to this, uh, to this content for uh, social networks. Then, how to follow the trend, how to create video. Use these small videos to cut through the trash with relevant content. If you need relevant content uh, in, on the web, you'll find 1,000 articles or 10 videos, 10 business or topic-specific videos. Which one would you choose? Would you choose to read this 1,000 text or try luck with 10 videos, okay? Yeah, and um, as I already said, video is an user's anchor in the sea of text because everybody on the uh, everything in the web now exists in the form of texts. Plus, use videos to make your business become human because people want to interact with people. It is obvious. And uh, ask yourself, would you rather spend this evening today with some VLON brand or like no name, no name guy from Gurtam team, or with one of them, with one of the sales internet business development international team. I think the answer is obvious. And uh, plus, um, all these guys, all these guys um, are really uh, one of the best specialists here nationally, and uh, they are all um, they are all very strong personal brands. So it's a great chance to. Uh, fortify your 
corporate brand with a number with a number of personal ones and it will give you great results plus last but not least use videos on your website uh, because it it uh, drives retention and your CEO search optimization uh, will say thanks to you for that so let us try for the next year let us try where it is possible webinars instead of articles video testimonials instead of reviews play-by-play -play streaming instead of a delayed image video like two months later two months after the event let us try to do this and we will support you in this trend number three Personalization is a key to success, no matter the number and the types of marketing channels. Because um, raise your hands, raise your hands who um, send the same commercial offer to every one of your clients. Okay, so uh, in which business domain do you work? Like wh where, where do you have clients mostly? Maybe fleet management, logistics, construction, or everywhere fleet management okay yes it may be it may work when you have uh, most of your clients are in the same area but uh, for some uh, for a million years I think I've been uh, writing articles for Guten blog and I know that project uh, implementation implementation project is never simple it is like integrations developing new interfaces it's uh, um, ERP implementation of FMS integrations and everything that's like hardware uh, hardware implementations a variety of uh, additional sensors and uh, counters and everything to describe all this in the universal commercial offer you'll need 10 pages and nobody would read this in 10 pages so let us see figures sp speaking for the trend 78% of B2B marketeers uh, name it's a decisive factor in B2B. Uh, plus 500% to trade value within a deal, they claim it. And uh, 4x conversion, uh, x4, uh, x4 conversion also within a deal when you apply, uh, employ personalized approach. So that is why I offer you and I recommend you to personalize every point of user interaction. Just a second, I'll check my time. Okay, I still have some. Because a client needs to know uh, if your proposition is relevant within seconds. If he works in construction or uh, he wants to visit your website and see, okay, we equip um, cranes faster and cheaper than everybody in the region. And he will call you because this is his problem and this is his pain. And you shot into it. Plus, it is and it is only website, and it is applicable for applicable for every marketing channel you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I want to also to uh, show you a case from the Ukraine, uh, who were the first uh, from our partners to uh, provide a very star targeted uh, monthly mailing mailing segmented by the client type. Uh, and client were receiving business specific content subject to their problems and they achieved open rate plus 30% which meant 30% less um, cold calling and it's only segmentation by type it's not even a personalization and they achieved such great results plus global position from Russia also your colleagues they were selling we on local models uh, and uh, uh, settings configurations as uh, separate products and for every set of these modules and uh, settings they uh, created landing pages dedicated to uh, a specific problem and they made these landing pages they are online value propositions so this is how they personalized personalized uh, Personalize their their offer to clients, even not having this specific products, having only one VL on local. So that is what you also can make. Trend number four: ever great role of opinion leaders and brand advocates. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I start with uh, how to follow it. Uh, and uh, I want you to let your clients become brand evangelists. If they're satisfied in every point of contact, 
they um, are becoming your advocates, your promoters, and your evangelists. I will tell you about the case from the Ukraine, also UM team, Ukraine, who uh, acquired a very big client, a very big client with, uh, in agriculture, um, and they uh, consolidated the work of all parties of implementing the project. Uh, ERP integrations, uh, fleet management system and logistics management system integrations, um, centering all these around telematics, around VLON, and um, they like took all the pain that this big client could get. And now they hold joint presentation on every industry event together, a client and, a, uh, and an integrator. They um, receive continuous feedback on the economic benefits of, uh, this, uh, uh, of the implementation of this solution. And in the end, finally, uh, their client made a four minutes video with graphics, uh, drone video, and uh, all this uh, very pricey uh, and expensive editing. And all this because once UMT made something that everybody refused to do. And this is what satisfaction makes. Then create the team of brand advocates. You, uh, like inside your team, um, the role of advocates inside your team can be as effective as the role of bloggers and uh, opinion leaders outside it. Um, you know, I really don't know the, uh, such, such people in the international community. So today we have a great chance to meet uh, some people from the CIS to find them on Facebook and see how they promote their brand and their, their corporate and personal brands in the social networks. Please believe me, you will not regret this, because Yuri Kravchik, Igor Boyka, Natalia Lukrenovich, Alexander Ivanov. You can make a photo of this slide, find them, uh, and, uh, and, and enjoy. Just enjoy the evening in their Facebook, okay? Question? Huh? Yes. Uh, what is CIS? CIS, uh, CIS countries is Russia and <laughs> yeah, post-Soviet like this. I don't, I don't even remember <laughs> how to say what what is CIS countries now? What are CIS, the CIS countries now? Because everything has changed in, in in the recent times. Yeah, okay. I will show you after the <laughs> presentation. We'll get to know it together. Yes, uh, find them because these guys, these guys, they have. Uh, very different approaches, they have very different content and uh, very different, like, they are different in everything, but they uh, achieve the common goal. They successfully promote their corporate brand and uh, their personal brands in the internet, and they are known all around the community. So let's continue with collaboration between brands. So uh, many companies Many kind of, like market leaders, uh, all market leaders under one roof in one place. They collaborate, they exchange uh, leads and everything. They uh, like represent. You can find everything in one place: hardware, software, uh, developers. Uh, does it remind you of something? Okay, it's Gurta IoT Zone. It's Gurta Mega Booth. Uh, that was that proved to be very efficient in the uh, recent for the for the past year. Uh, I know that here are people who participated in the uh, mega booth. Yeah, raise your hands. Yeah, okay, I see. Many people participate in the mega booth, and they all know that uh, after it, they had a great coverage in uh, um, the blogs and social networks of all the participants and. Uh, we experienced it on our, in our social networks and uh, on our blog because we haven't had uh, such coverage when we were participating somewhere alone. And uh, I highly recommend you to do anything, to have joint presentations, to have joint uh, publications, to have joint uh, exhibitions with uh, your partners, with big brands and smaller brands, still to um, enhance the coverage and become, uh, how to follow it, the final, the final slide, become an opinion leader for the global community. Uh, that's what I offer you to do now, because um, three years ago, 
just a second. Okay, I am okay. Uh, some years ago, I've seen like how unwillingly, unwillingly you were sharing the projects, the results, the economic benefit, the approaches you use in your business. Like you were kind of afraid that somebody will steal it. Now you know where to do this. Uh, now I see a lot of posts. Uh, we publish one case story at least a week on our blog. I see posts in social media. I see like how you share the new approaches with, with each other because uh, you know that even if somebody steals your approach, you're one step ahead already. So um, when we finally learn to share our results and our successes with each other, now, I suggest we started doing it with the uh, inner world. So, uh, to the outer world, yeah, push your expertise there with the help of Gurtam. Um, all you need to do is uh, contact me after the presentation because we are now gathering the kind of a community of experts that will give their comments, represent their companies, uh, their brands and our brand in social media. That's what I'm doing now, that's what I'm focused on now. So if you think you're an expert in the area, you do the technology, the implementation in any area better than someone, better than everyone, better than me, okay? Please find me after the presentation. Please contact me and let us share the community's expertise with the outer world. And now, thank you very much for the... Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was all, and uh, I really ask you to like, to find me after the presentation if you are an expert and you are willing to share the experience in your region with the world. Okay, now I pass the word to my colleague Ivan, Ivan Sobolev, who is the team lead in, of digital marketing. You may also applause to him.